Hi guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous winter day here in the end times. Well guys, it has finally happened. We have come to Tuesday, December 31st, 2019. We are wrapping up 2019. We are wrapping up the 20 teens. We are 20% of the way through the 2020s. Uh, and we all know what that means. <coughs> the, the rocket ride begins tomorrow. Unbelievable. We have made it to the 2020s and so we all know what December 31st means and this is a special one uh, because December 31st is you know when I make my predictions for the next year. So this is my annual broken record next year predictions rant but this as I say is a special one because pretty much everything I'm getting ready to say here the vast majority of these you can extrapolate from the year 2020 to the decade of the 2020s I can only imagine assuming I'm still alive the internet is still up global industrial civilization is still alive what this rant is going to sound like in 10 years. Uh, we are going, the, I guess the bottom line prediction is we're going to see more shit fly in the next 10 years uh, than we have ever seen in any 10 year history of humanity since we climbed down from the trees. The shit is going to be flying around this planet and still, 99% of the people on the planet are going to be completely unaware of the fact that they are witnessing uh, before their very eyes the single biggest event in the event with a capital E, uh, as the one percenters call it, that they're, going, that they're witnessing every day in the 2020s the single biggest event in human history unfolding before their very eyes and the vast majority of this planet <clears throat> uh, completely unaware of this. I don't know what it's going to take. Maybe something will happen in the 2020s where humanity will all become doomers and understand this. Anyway, just real quickly before I dive into 2020, so how did I do on my predictions for 2019? I went back and reviewed. So apparently, <clears throat> last year I made 34 predictions. Okay, of my 34 predictions for 2019, I'm pretty proud of this record, 26 of them of the 34 were on target, exactly as I called it. Uh, five of them were wrong, five out of 34 I miscalled, and three of them I'm going to call ties, where I wasn't exactly right or exactly wrong. But 26 out of 34, hmm, you know, not too bad. And uh, so this year, apparently, I just did this at midnight last night. I just sat down at midnight on December 31st and uh, just, however they rolled off my head. Now, uh, so we're, we're going to get right to the good stuff. I'm just going to get the first two out of the way so we can get to something that really matters to the planet. Now, one of my five <coughs> incorrects, which I almost gave myself a tie, was uh, I predicted that Donald Trump would not be impeached in the year 2019. But when I made that prediction, guys, you know that 99% of us use the, the term 
impeached almost colloquially to mean getting kicked out of office. 99% of the folks, they hear the word impeached, they think it automatically means that the son of a bitch is getting kicked out of office. So what I was saying is that Donald Trump was not going to be kicked out of office in 2019, but I'm going to give myself a wrong on that because he was impeached and I need to be more careful about my semantics. But uh, going into 2020, let me, let me be a little more uh, correct in my semantics. Donald Trump will not be booted out of office. Okay, and now for the big drum roll. Donald Trump will be re-elected President of the United States. Once again, he will lose the popular vote. Okay, Donald Trump will lose the popular vote, but he will be back in for another four years. We have the single most despicable human being, with the possible exception of Bozo Nero, in the White House for another four years, setting off an ecological disaster in this country and on this planet unequaled. I mean, he is the person uh, to, to lead us into the, uh, just the apocalypse that's unfolding this decade. It is, it, as sick as this makes me, so the, the Democrats have so fucked this up have completely, I, 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 I mean, the, the Democrats deserve everything they have. They deserve another four years of Donald Trump. And before any clueless fucking moron already starts in on me, hey man, it makes no difference whether Donald Trump or, or the Democrat corporate whore wins. There, there's two things to say about this from a planetary, ultimately historical perspective, no shit, Sherlock. It makes no fucking difference whether uh, Donald Trump or the Democrat uh, corporate whore uh, gets elected. Uh, this planet is fucked. But any clueless fucking moron <clears throat> trying to tell uh, me for one fucking second that there's no goddamn difference between Donald Trump and, and I don't give a fuck uh, who it is. It could be anybody on the fucking planet. Uh, pull your fucking head out of your ass. Uh, the difference between Donald Trump and any of those Democrats is, is the difference between a fucking pit bull and Sancho Panza. All right? You can, you can carry those two fucking thoughts in your head, but I don't want to, I'm not going to, I can't believe I'm already getting into this, talking to these clueless fucking morons who, who can't carry these two thoughts in their puny little brain. Anyway, is that it for Donald Trump? Okay, I'm going to try to never mention Donald Trump for the rest of, all right, that's, I got 44 to go. Okay, as long as we're talking about this election, climate change, the, the subject of climate change will receive less than 30 minutes in all of the presidential debates combined. I, I don't care what combination, how many, uh, whatever, add them all up, climate change will receive less than 30 minutes in all the debates combined. Next prediction, all other environmental issues, every other environmental issue combined other than climate change, take every single environmental issue on this planet, combine them, and every debate will receive less than 10 minutes. And my guess, I will be surprised if they're ever mentioned, if it, if it goes 10 minutes, that's the absolute outside that the other eight planetary boundaries 
uh, obviously, obviously, the word overpopulation will never be heard anywhere in any political discussion on this planet. Not one politician on this planet is is going to talk about overpopulation. And don't try to tell me that Narendra Modi, uh, somebody tried to tell me recently that Narendra Modi uh, over there in India uh, was talking about overpopulation and then I went and looked at the quote in context. Uh, overpopulation will be nowhere in the discussion in any political party on the planet. I don't give a fuck. Capitalist, socialist, democrat, republican, communist, dictator, whatever the fuck. Overpopulation, the single biggest issue on planet earth, will be, have nothing to do with the, with the conversation. Now, just in the bigger picture, and this is from 2020 throughout this decade, the move to the right, right, this is your right, the move to fascism and the extreme right it is going to keep on plowing ahead. Uh, this, this entire planet is going to move further and further and further to the right where a leftist is going to sound like what was a moderate republican uh, in you know 20 years ago okay the chinese belt and road initiative let's talk about this the chinese belt and road initiative is the single biggest immediate threat to this planet. I believe this. I believe it's bigger than climate change. I believe that in the 2020s the Chinese Belt and Road Initiative will continue to be the single biggest most direct threat to planet Earth. Okay? It will be completely ignored in the mainstream media. You will not hear the words, the Chinese Belt and Road Initiative, the single biggest threat to the planet, will be nowhere in the consciousness uh, of the public. Okay, uh, obviously, uh, as this, this was a no shit Sherlock one I called last year, that more environmental defenders will be killed you know, the people going up against these fucking planet eaters will be killed in 2020 than ever before. The only change being that apparently, and I have a hard time believing this, apparently in 2019, the Philippines, the Philippines uh, took the dubious honor of having the most environmental defenders killed. That torch will be passed to Brazil. And Brazil will stay the leader of environmental defenders being killed as uh, Jair Bozo Nero's reign of terror. Now, I almost made the prediction that Bozo Nero is, uh, is going to be uh, kicked out of office or preferably assassinated in the year 2020, but I pulled back as wishful thinking. Anyway, uh, let's just go from politics to climate change. Okay, again, one of them I missed last year is I predicted 2019 would be the hottest year on history. Apparently, it's going to, I think it's going to be the second hottest, uh, but I did predict 100% that 2019 would be in the top three. So I got that one right. I got one wrong, one right, and I will repeat that if 2020 is not the hottest year in uh, history of record keeping, it will certainly 
play in the um, top three. Okay, 2020 will see record low ice extent and, and volume in the Arctic. Both extent and volume will hit a record low in 2020, but as I predicted correctly, there will be no blue ocean event this year. It's going to take a few more years, a few more Arctic heat waves to melt that ice, but don't worry, uh, the permafrost uh, and the permafrost melt and the resulting methane bomb are going into overdrive this year. Uh, more methane will be released from melting permafrost than uh, has ever happened in human history. Okay, now we don't even have to wait till tomorrow when um, we go down to Australia. That Australia basically will just enter the apocalypse. I haven't even turned the news on today. Uh, Brother Alm sent us an article yesterday about 4,000 tourists being trapped along the beach. There is nowhere to flee inland. Anybody who does not understand what the apocalypse unfolding in the 2020s, go down there to Australia. The apocalypse will be in full swing on January 1st, 2020. And, uh, you know, the, these wildfires are uh, going to keep right on raging. No shit, Sherlock. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, I should have mentioned this next one uh, before I went to Australia. Obviously, more ominous reports. These ominous, dire, worse, uh, faster than previously expected and worse than previously expected reports are going to be coming out from Greenland and Antarctica, from both poles, we're going to get more and more information confirming that Greenland and Antarctica are, are, are both in runaway melt. Okay, is that uh, it for the Arctic and Antarctic? Okay. Uh, again, one I know shit Sherlock, uh, I, I have to admit I'm being a little bit chicken shit with this one. Somewhere, somewhere will be wiped off the map by a major hurricane. Uh, so in 2019, who took the honor? I guess it was the Bahamas took the uh, honor for being wiped off the map by a hurricane. Uh, so that, that's, as, uh, that, that's as much as I'm going to uh, guess here. Uh, good chance that somewhere in Florida, uh, Puerto Rico or Florida will be wiped off the map by a hurricane. Okay, speaking of uh, may or may not have anything to do with that prediction, these ocean blobs, these marine heat waves will get larger and larger. More and more of these marine heat waves will uh, keep appearing all over the planet. Uh, maybe I can go ahead and make prediction number 47 going hand in hand with this is that ocean dead zones. There will be more area of our global oceans declared dead zones than any year in history. Obviously coral bleaching, coral bleaching will go right on uh, about its business. Coral reefs will keep 
uh, collapsing all over the planet. Um, and along with that, these algae blooms and red tides and all of that crap. That whole family of, uh, of apocalypse will uh, ramp up and will start occurring in places that it has never occurred before. Uh, I was horrified to find in Ithaca, New York, that these algae blooms uh, were in full swing uh, in the lakes around Ithaca. You know, these algae blooms that can kill Sancho Panza if he drinks from a lake. I have to worry about this shit in upstate New York. All right, let's look at UN climate talks. COP26 will fail miserably. It will be dog and pony show 26 will accomplish absolutely nothing as CO2 emissions will hit a new record in 2020, just as I predicted they would hit a new record in 2019, exactly what happened, and the, the record of 2019 will be broken in 2020 every single year. The previous year's record, right on through the 2020s, will be broken uh, with each succeeding year, and the same with CO2, total emissions, you know, in tons of CO2, the same can be said by CO2 parts per million will hit a new record. Did we hit 415 at any point during 2019? If we didn't, we will at least some point we will hit 415 in 2020. Uh, and all of this has a little bit to do with the fact that more oil, more oil will be brought out of the ground in 2020 than any year in history. In 2019 uh, holds the record as I predicted and uh, more coal will be mined in the year 2020 than was mined in 2019. Anybody suffering some delusion that coal mining is dead on this planet, please pull your head out of your clueless moron ass. Coal mining will increase next year. Okay, I'm going to give this next one, actually give a nod to Groot, to our Alert Tribes member Groot, uh, because I probably would not have thought of this, but I agree with Groot <clears throat> that the Doomsday Clock, the Doomsday Clock will not move. Where is it? At about 11.58 p.m., as the apocalypse unfolds in 2020, the doomsday clock is going to sit right where it is. However, <clears throat> on the flip side of that, Earth Overshoot Day will be the earliest it has ever been. It will actually move into July that we will eat this planet. Uh, humanity will eat this planet uh, by some date in July this year, and every day thereafter, we're eating Planet B. <clears throat> All right, how about a few deforestation predictions? Amazon deforestation will break all time records under Jair Bozo Nero. More land in the Amazon rain in the Brazilian Amazon rainforest, more Amazon rainforest will fall in the year 2020 than in any year ever in history. And going hand in hand with that, the Amazon fires, 
you know, they, they cut down all the trees and whatever, you know, they take out whatever logs they want, I guess, and then they set fire to the rest of it. More acres of the Amazon rainforest will burn in 2020 than they burned this year. Okay, I talked about uh, this regular oil uh, coming out of the ground. Demand for that shit will hit an all-time high, but oil palm demand will continue to rise. This is another no shit Sherlock one that I put in. I started to research that and I noticed as late as May of last year they were predicting that uh, oil palm or palm oil uh, would fall in 2019. But gee, guess what? Uh, Hambone Little Tail, uh, more brilliant than all of these uh, oil palm investors as the demand for uh, palm oil hit an all-time record in 2019 as I predicted and that record will be broken in 2020 and the same with biofuels this this very the oxymoron biofuels which mean trees more acres of forest will be cut down for biofuels in 2020 than in 2019. Okay, from biofuels to biodiversity, obviously. And this isn't just biodiversity. We're going to see more and more of these dire reports coming out in 2020. Uh, over and over and over again, we're going to be seeing uh, everyone from the United Nations to the World Wildlife Fund to whoever uh, as these dire warnings to humanity keep pouring off the presses. These un... just the, this uh, un adulterated horseshit UN biodiversity targets <clears throat> will be missed by miles. The very notion of the United Nations protecting biodiversity on this planet is more absurd than Sancho Panza protecting chipmunks. The United Nations is a bigger threat to biodiversity on this planet than, than any organization of planet eaters ever convened uh, in the history of humanity. Okay, obviously marine mammal deaths will continue to skyrocket. Uh, you know, these whale beachings and sea turtle beach... Well, sea turtles aren't mammals, but they're fucked too, as are the sharks and everything else. I don't know why I... I don't know why I... Why did I limit it to mammals? Marine animal deaths will continue to skyrocket. Uh, these salmon fisheries, more and more salmon fisheries will be closed in 2020 as salmon fisheries all over the planet from Scotland to Alaska to Oregon collapse as the just the world salmon runs are going to be in full scale collapse uh, obviously more species will be added to the International Union for the Conservation of Nature red list, meaning the endangered species list uh, in 2020 than in 2019. More and more of our fellow earthlings are going to go into code red, <coughs> but of course a lot of them will be going into code black. Uh, and then as I reported here recently, deep sea mining is really going to crank up 
uh, in earnest. Uh, deep sea mining yes, uh, is kind of like the Chinese Belt and Road Initiative at the bottom of the ocean. Okay, <coughs> let's look at plastic pollution and recycling. Okay, more plastic. This total plastic will be both produced uh, you know, in plastic factories in the year 2020, I mean, produced and therefore consumed, more plastic will be uh, just spit out onto this planet in the year 2020 than any year in history. More plastic uh, uh, will be spit out, I mean, every possible product. Uh, the plastics industry is more alive and well in the year 2020 than it was when in 1967 uh, in the movie The Graduate when uh, that guy was telling, uh, you know, Benjamin the future in one word. In 1967, looking ahead into the future, telling this young man what to invest in plastics. Uh, investing in plastics is still the number one best investment decision you can make in 2020 as it was in 1967. If you want to make money off the collapse of a planet, invest in plastics manufacturing. Okay, from manufacturing to recycling, Obviously, the global recycling crisis will go into overdrive with zero solution. Recycling is a fucking joke. If there is anybody on this planet believing for one minute that there is anything remotely called a recycling uh, industry on this planet. Please pull your head out of your ass. But there will be the, the solution to this is that Sub-Saharan Africa will agree to take in the rest of the world's recycling. That uh, now that Asia has uh, told the planet what they can do with their millions of tons of plastic crap. Uh, it will be shipped to Africa. My guess is a shitload of it is already going to Africa, but they're just not talking about it. But I assure you uh, that is where your garbage will be headed is to a landfill somewhere in sub-Saharan Africa where some three-year-old rag picker uh, can go rummaging through it. But uh, speaking of sub-Saharan Africa, uh, let's just finish up with a few uh, <coughs> predictions about the collapse of a planet which will, of course, uh, unfold in sub-Saharan Africa, uh, continue to unfold. I've been saying for the past 10 years, for the past decade, if you want to see the future of the planet, where the planet is heading in a few years, go over to sub-Saharan Africa. So, my guess is no shit Sherlock, migration out of Africa will rise that any uh, sub-Saharan African with half of a brain will do everything they can to get their black asses out of Africa into Honkyville, which is exactly what I would be doing with my black ass if I lived in sub-Saharan Africa. I would be climbing into a jumbo jet uh, wheel well to get my ass out of uh, sub-Saharan Africa. And you can draw your own dots between that fact 
and that sub-Saharan Africa will continue to lead the population explosion. Uh, Sub-Saharan Africa for right on through the 2020s, right on up until the, the total collapse, uh, more babies will be born in Sub-Saharan Africa by far than anywhere else on the planet. But I will predict you will see a little bit of pushback by Mother Earth. I am going to predict that in the year 2020, 50,000 Africans will starve in famines, although you won't hear about that anywhere in the mainstream media. And let's don't forget uh, India while we're in here. So as water crises, especially in India, will finally be in the news. You can expect more and more water crises cropping up, popping up all over the planet. And India is going to lead the, uh, the charge. And... Uh, from water crises you will, to just the bigger picture of resource wars. Uh, you will start to see more and more resource wars. If it's not over oil, more and more it's going to be over water. That uh, you know, One of the main points of contention between India and Pakistan is water or these giant hydroelectric dams. Uh, it, I am not ready to call a nuclear war between India and Pakistan in 2020. I don't rule that out, but I'm not ready to make that prediction. But when the nuclear bombs do start falling, it's going to be water wars behind it. Although it may not be couched in those terms in the mainstream media, that's what it is. It's too fucking many people uh, competing for too few resources. And you give each one of those a nuclear bomb and see what happens. We will see what happens eventually, just not quite yet. Okay, two more. Income inequality will hit a new record that a fewer and fewer number of people will own half the plant, you know, uh, what I'm saying, uh, that, that income inequality, that today's one percenters will become 2020's uh, one-tenth of one percenters, and I am guessing 1,000 new billionaires we can welcome 1,000 new billionaires uh, into the planet, and the majority, the greatest chunk of those, will come from the country of China. That China will see more new billionaires than any other country, and they can thank the Chinese Belt and Road Initiative for a lot of that. But once again, I think this is my tenth one of these rants. The bottom line prediction for 2020, the bottom line no shit Sherlock prediction for 2020 is that one year from today, on the last day of 2020, we will be one year closer to the brick wall. Every wheel is turning. It is get, the wheels are getting bigger and faster. The, uh, the attacks against this planet are going into overdrive. One year from today, uh, we will be one year closer to the collapse, the long overdue collapse and fall of global industrial civilization because we will be more fucked in the year 2020 than in any year in human history. And that 
is all you need to know about for the predictions for 2020. We are, the brick wall is looming. But anyway, speaking of walls, uh, I need to wrap up this rant on this beautiful day and go put up my new cloth wall. I will send you a picture of uh, my new cloth wall between Mad Max next door. Anyway, guys, and then, of course, I have to head to a picking party at 4 o'clock this afternoon for about 12 hours, get up tomorrow, go to a New Year's Day party, and I guess I have one more big party this weekend before heading to Florida next week. Put on your seat belts, guys. 2020 is nigh, and we are so...